um, you know, just like one page that we, we have about her career uh, here and all the accomplishments. Oh, wait a second, I think I, I left the, the rest back in my car. That's the whole box with everything else that we're about to talk about. Thank, thank, thank you so much. Round of applause for Katie Pasquale. As far as her achievements, when she was here as a student at Linden High School, we'll start at the top. She, was, she earned multiple all-county honors. She was first team all-state twice as a junior and a senior. That's an incredible achievement in itself. She was earned, she earned the Player of the Year honors twice by the News Tribune. She was, this is all while in high school. Elected as an All-American by the Women's Basketball Coaches, Coaches Association. Those years. And if you look over my shoulder, you'll see the years hanging on the banner that they won the state championships. What an amazing team that was. Three time state champion in 91, 92, 93, and the wins kept coming in 94, even after she left. Recruited and offered by over 200 Division I colleges. And my girls who are sitting right here in front of me, listen to this senior stat line. 28.1 points per game, 13.6 rebounds, and a 28 and 2 record her senior year. That's incredible. She's a member of the Linden Hall of Fame, and staggering, as you heard Mrs. Cleary say, she amassed a school record, both boys and girls. Point total of 2,092 points that still stands today by a lot. I told you to get comfortable, that was her high school career. She was Big 12 Player of the Year in 1997, Big 8 Conference Player of the Year in 1996. National Associated Press All-American Second Team, 1997 Big 12 All-Tournament Team. She averaged, while at Kansas, 20.6 points per game and 5.6 rebounds per game. I don't know if anyone even knows, that statistic is incredible. We're talking LeBron type of She guided the Jayhawks to four straight NCAA tournaments, including one Sweet 16. Her 1,689 points ranks her as Kansas's eighth all-time leading scorer. The University of Kansas, as you see and will see, retired her number, and she is also a member of the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame. She was selected in the first round of the first ever WNBA draft, 14 overall. By the Los Angeles Sparks. Uh, I don't see her wearing them tonight, but I know she's got them. She's got two, not one, but two championship rings in 2001 and two. She had three all-star selections in 2001, 2002, and 2003, all WNBA second team 2001, 360 games, which was the sixth most ever when she retired. She also retired with 3,500 points, which is 22nd overall, 961 assists, which is 11 overall, and 12th in minutes with 9,454 while playing somewhere else in the off season. Uh, we prepared some things that 
we'd like to show you there on the video screen. So the help of our staff from here, we can get things going. If you can direct your attention to the video screen for one second. Number 33, Tamika Dixon. Look at the speed she goes by Rosati, just blows right by her little contact right there, Rosati grabbing her. Look at this little spin move right here. I didn't know whether she was going to go in all the way, but just that little scoop move keeps the ball away from Lobo. about what it meant to be a phenomenal athlete like yourself. And I think our girls and any of our athletes uh, could really benefit from that. What you said upon retirement, what I would like for people to remember about Tamika Dixon isn't written in the record books. I would like to be remembered as a teammate who played hard 100% of the time. If the teammates with whom I've been fortunate to play can think of me as someone who is always ready to go to battle for them, then my legacy is perfect in my eyes. Tamika, that could not be any more true. Tamika, you and number 33 will eternally be part of the Linden family. Thank you. Amazing people first, but when we 
stepped on this court, we represented, we wanted to represent this city with everything we had, and we gave it our all. And I used to come in with so much pride about how we put on for our city. Um, so, you know, my teammates, I, I could not have done anything here without those that I mentioned. Nothing. They helped me. You know, they were everything to me. And really, they should be standing here behind this podium with me. Thank everybody for coming out. Um, you could have done anything else tonight. And you chose to come and spend it with me, so thank you.